John Nicol, the 8th of September 1833 to the 11th of October 1894, was a Scottish literary academic and the first Regis Professor of English Language and Literature at the University of Glasgow. Topic: Early life. Born in Montrose, Scotland, Nicol was the son of John Pringle Nicol, Regis Professor of Astronomy at the University of Glasgow. John Jr. studied first at Glasgow and then Balliol College, Oxford as a Snell exhibitioner, graduating with a first-class degree in Classics, Philosophy and Mathematics. After graduating, Nicol remained at Oxford as a coach. With Albert Venn Dicey, Thomas Hill Green, Swinburne and others, he formed the Old Mortality Society for discussions on literary matters. Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> In 1862 he was made Regis Professor of English Literature at Glasgow. He had already made a reputation as an acute critic and a successful lecturer, and his influence at Glasgow was very marked. During his tenure as Regis Professor, he also lectured at Oxford University as well as private tutoring across Britain, and formed a strong reputation as an inspiring lecturer, later joining Glasgow's Dialectic Society. He left Glasgow for London in 1889, and died on of October 1894. A memoir by Professor Knight was published in 1896. <laughs> works Among the major works by Nicol were his drama Hannibal 1873, The Death of Themistocles, and other poems 1881, his Byron in the "'English Men of Letters' series 1880, his Robert Burns 1882, and Carlyle 1892. Nicol was also an enthusiastic Americanist and wrote the groundbreaking American Literature, and Historical Review, 1622–1880 He visited the United States in 1865, and in 1882 he wrote the article on American Literature for the ninth edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica. In addition to the above, he was also the author of the following works Fragments of Criticism, a volume of Essays, 1860 Tables of European Literature and History, AD 200 1876 Tables of Ancient Literature and History, 1877 English Composition, A Literature Primer, 1879 Questions on English Composition, 1890, and Two volumes on Lord Bacon's Life and Philosophy for Blacks, Series of Philosophical Writers, 1887–89, Nicol also wrote essays for the Westminster Review, North British Review, and other reviews, articles in the Encyclopaedia Britannica, and several pamphlets on education questions. Nicol was long blamed by biographers of the poet Swinburne for leading Swinburne to lose his faith and to alcoholism. Neither charge is true. See Terry L. Myers on drink and faith, Swinburne and John Nicol at Oxford. Review of English Studies, NS 55 to 220, June 2004, 392 to 424.